Here it is far. Yesterday we added the upholstery, the front bumper, uh, license plate, grill. Um, oh, we added these controls, which are like not for the imaginary driver, but they're for me. Uh, I, I mean, it looks like other than the cab, the doors, mirrors, and tires, I mean, looks like everything's on there. Uh, maybe it's not everything, but it's like mostly. So let's check this out here. Our always handy instruction book. Uh, got some sheets that are done. Got some little half sheets that amazingly haven't come into play yet. Uh, pick tool. Oh, we got our multi tool. I actually didn't use it much yesterday, but. Uh, I'm trying to get into it. You know, they haven't asked. I think they did two rubber bands. They got two more. I don't know if we're going to be using two more rubber bands at some point. Uh, sandpaper, wax. I think we used the file yesterday rather than the sandpaper. We used the file. We got some half sheets, not even half sheets, some like broken pieces. I don't know if they're going to come up or not, but we're ready if they do. All right, that's about it. All right, let's find our place and get to work. I just threw the pick. If you see the page, actually, I'm just going to finish this really quick thing here. bumper yesterday so let's look for that uh, yep there's the front grill um, that looks new right so this is it yeah 45 that sounds familiar all right 164 and 163 so we got Three and three quarter sheets done. But that means we got two and a quarter that aren't done. So we still got some work to do. All right. 164, 163. Do I have to do that twice? I just see that image is there multiple times. Oh, yeah, we do have to do it. We have to do both sides. Yeah. All right, 164 and 163. 163. The second time it's 165, yeah. The 165 is like left and right. The 164, it's the same. All right, so we're gonna do 163 first. It's the bottom one. They're probably both gonna pop out because I don't know how you do one and not the other. All right, I did it. And look at that. That's the grain in the wood or something. It looks like it. All right. So facing this way. This way, and boom. See, we already got a piece done. And now we're gonna add that piece to the build. Just trying to get the orientation correct here. What am I looking at? Side walls, okay. All right, let me just spin this around. So it looks like we're attaching to this side. Oh, these are the running boards. Yeah, yeah. Let's get those on there. Yep. Yeah, I see exactly where those go. Though they're covering up some a slot. What's that all about? 
Well, anyway, maybe it, oh no, it attaches from the inside. All right, it is covering something up, but it's covering up something that's already detached from the inside, so not a big deal. All right, I think these running boards conceptually very easy. Let's see if we can get them to click in. All right, go. I have this impulse to do a mic check. Let me just go back to the channel. All right, now it's working. I don't know why. <laughs> I just had suddenly was thinking, what if the mic's not working? All right, now we're gonna do the other one. I'm just gonna quickly type in the chat. I just was typing in the chat to encourage folks to uh, join, you know? Type something in and, and we'll have an interactive conversation. Or don't type anything in and you can just watch me build a puzzle. Whatever works for you, I guess. Um, there were some things I wanted to talk about, but I didn't write them down, so I don't remember them. <laughs> I remember thinking it was like something that I'd said a few times lately and it's like people would want to hear it, I should mention it, and, but I don't remember what it was. Um, yep, there's how that goes. Felt like it was something important though. Oh yeah, I do remember it. It was the, um, the cash diabetes thing. <laughs> I don't want this to sound like anti-capitalism because I support capitalism, but you know, some people could process sugar and some people can't. And I sometimes wonder if some people can handle money and some people can't. By the way, I think I'm doing this. I think I did that upside down. Uh, yeah, that's upside down. So some people, uh, okay, who am I to judge, right? I I'm going to use an example, but it's just like how it looks to me. It may not be an accurate example, but like Paul Allen and Bill Gates, you know who those guys are, right? They were like co-founders of Microsoft. They're both like multi-billionaires. And Paul Allen, he, I think he bought like the Sonics and the Mariners, or maybe it was two other teams. He basically bought two sports teams, you know, and he basically all year round, any night he wanted to go sit in the owner's box and watch a sports game. <laughs> I mean, he was all set. Uh, and I feel like, yeah, I mean, you were successful in life and now enjoy it. But Bill Gates, it's almost like he's torturing himself. He's like still trying to make money and he's going to like extreme ways to try to do it. And I almost think that's not healthy. And like, it's kind of like some people with diabetes, they can't handle sugar. I'm not sure Bill Gates can handle money. Um, but you know, what are you going to do? Start a conservatorship because those conservatorships historically have been such messes. <laughs> I mean, they never seem to work out. It's like, uh, it always ends up with the person administering the conservatorship, robbing all the money. Um, I, I shouldn't say always, that sounds like I'm saying something, uh, you know, uh, let me just say it seems that way. You know, that's the impression that I get. It may not be accurate at all, but, you know. Um, but regardless, my instinct is to, to be against conservatorships, but it also seems to me that not everybody can handle, like, a ton of money. All right, so I'm looking at... The reason I was picking up those pieces is because I'm looking at this here, this, and I don't have that, but I'm not sure what I can do about it because... I, I don't know if the pieces here are going to work there. I think I was supposed to use this piece and I broke it and that's just never going to happen at this point, but it's supposed to be there. It's just not, it's not going to happen. I broke the piece. All right. So let's just move on. All right. Interesting little pieces here. 
166, 167, and 168, and it kind of all clicked together. And it's another one of those both side things. We're going to do two of them. We're going to do one of them and clip it on one side, and then we're going to do another one and clip it on the other side. This one is ambidextrous. It's two 166s, two 167s, two 168s. So I might as well put them all out and get to work. So let's remember what they say to punch out from the back side. So there's the, the two 166s. And now we need two 167s. Continue punching out from the back side. Two 168s, which I think was kind of a curvy little piece. Where is 168? Uh, 44. Come on, where's 168? Is it on this thing? Oh, do I really have 168? Because this says 167, which I was not expecting. But yeah, it's just another copy. It's like an extra, I guess. An extra 167. But where's my 168s? Do I need to go to the next board? Am I staring right at it? Uh, what does it look like? Looks like a little, looks like that thing, but that's not it. That's 170. Uh, 169. So where's 168? Should be close to 169. Seventy five, one seventy seven, one sixty six, one sixty seven. Oh, well, there it is, one sixty eight. It doesn't look anything like it's supposed to. Oh, I was looking at the one sixty sevens. All right, okay, one sixty eight. All right, that's them. I just was, uh, I was reading one number, but looking at another shape was a poor form on my part. Anyway, let's build these two things. Should be just two copies of the same thing, I think. So the 168 goes down here. And the 167, which is a little trickier, goes up here. Um, I don't think it's going to be tricky to slide it in, but it's just tricky piece it's a little weird I'm not, I mean how far do I push it in that's another question I think I could go further but am I supposed to I think I am I think it's got to catch something on the other side um, yeah yeah it is I gotta push this all the way in which it doesn't seem to want to do by the way so we get our little tool there there we go there's one side. Like, how do I know I wasn't supposed to put these in like the other direction? Oh, because of this. It lines up with the notch. Okay. All right, good. All right, easy enough, right? Uh, all right, so let's line this one up with the notch. I kind of got lucky on the last one. We slid it in before really double checking our work. But, you know, if we'd been wrong, we would just pull it out. We hadn't the next section yet so all right so now we have to attach them one on each side it looks like we attach right near the like we attached on the front of this like this like midway piece that separates the cabin from the flatbed we attached on the front side and now it looks like we're attaching on the back side if I'm or are we attaching further in the front let me, let me take a close look at that. We're attaching further in the front. Where does the clamp go? Hmm. This is weird. I, there's a slot here. And I think that this should go through that slot. Oh, okay. I don't get it doesn't look like it's going to what did we do wrong 
I think we did put these on the wrong side. Even though we matched the, uh, even though we matched the picture, we matched the picture, but it doesn't work. Come on. Oh, I know what it is. We did them both the same way. We were supposed to do one on one side and one on the other. So if I hadn't in checked the instructions, maybe I would have done that by accident. So checking the instructions didn't work out. <laughs> because I made two copies of it and really they were supposed to be mirror copies. So now I gotta pluck this one out. And I broke the pick so I'm not, uh, it might not be easy as it was before when I had the pick on my side. All right, I got it out. All right, let's try this again. All right, now the clip is gonna line up with the slot. It's got two catches. They line up as well. How deep does this go? Hmm. Kind of hard to see if that's in line or not. It's funny, I only needed reading glasses in the last like year or so. Yeah, because I'm like 49 years old. I don't know what normal people get them at, but I guess I got them at 49. Um, maybe 48. But anyway, I didn't do this hobby. <laughs> like the whole time I had this amazing eyesight, I didn't do this hobby. And then I took it up right when I <laughs> would need help to do it, which I don't have. I don't, I didn't pick up reading glasses yet. So what I do when I need to see something, I just take my glasses off and look real close. But I should at some point get the reading glasses. The eye doctor said they're like a dollar and you get them at the drugstore. So there's really no excuse why I haven't gotten them yet. But I haven't. All right. Let's click this in here. All right. Wow. That is quite sturdy. Three pieces of wood all clipped together, all snapped in. Pretty good. All right. When do we bring on the tires? When do we get to the tires? No, we're still far away from the tires. I mean, we didn't even get to the second to last sheet yet, but we're close. We're very close. All right. A couple of 170s. You see them right here. Bang. Thing. All right. I hear it. when you hear that like crackle it's usually a splinter breaking off from the the board that you pop the pieces out of and then nope it was me snapping this piece in half I wish it was a splinter I, this piece is snapped in half all right got to be more careful when you break the pieces out uh, I think just looking at how this works, I think it's still going to go in, but that's a shame. All right, 169. Let's try not to snap that. of them with the slit facing which way this way so as you can see this piece is broken off not sure how big a deal that's going to be. Trying to make it work. All right, we're going to find out right now. 171, which is this big thing here. Is this like the roof of the cabinet or something? I don't know. It's a fairly... No, it's... It, is it the roof of the cabinet? Oh, it's a door. It's a door. Wow, there's a lot going on there. I mean, a lot hanging off. Is it a window? Is it part of the door? 
It's the inside of the door. So there's going to be something on the outside. It's the inside because remember those old crank windows before they had the electric windows? And that's probably like the door handle. It's actually just a cutout, but it's probably a simulation of a door handle. So this is the inside of the door. I don't know which side. Maybe we're going to build it twice. But ah, uh, So the piece I broke was the door hinge. So the door was supposed to open, and I broke the piece that was supposed to make that happen, which means now every time you open the door, it's going to like flop down. Yep, turns out that was a crucial piece. And the other piece that I broke, which is somewhere inside there, was part of the engine. So I basically failed this build. I mean, it's a nice build, but we spent nine days on it, and what we've achieved is a fail. I don't know why we're saying we. I'm, it's me, really. 171. Uh, let's just keep going. By the way, I attached this to the wrong spot. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, that's it. It looks cool, right? Too bad it doesn't work. I think I'm going to be able to put both halves in, but they're not going to like function properly. Anyway, let's see. Let me not assume. I mean, I don't think it's working properly. It's broken, but I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it wedges in there pretty good and you don't notice. I mean, it's a hinge. <laughs> I think it's quite, <laughs> I think it's quite a problem that this piece broke. But, let's see. Oh. Yeah, there it is. You can see how the door is going to open and close. Alright. Ooh. Time to put another two. Uh, this is definitely a moving door. That's for sure. 172 and 173. Alright. You know, it's kind of a problem that you read. you can read the pieces on one side but you need to pop them out from the other side. Ah, I broke another piece. What the hell? <laughs> I can't believe I broke two pieces in a row. What am I doing different tonight? Are these pieces just too long and thin? All right, I think Remember that expert was using the tool? I think when he sees a long skinny piece like this, he cuts them out because he knows they can't pop out. Like this like big square piece, that'll pop out fine. This long skinny piece, get out the blade. All right. Uh, anyway, 173. When I do the second one of that, I'm going to put the blade. Well, it's a good thing I didn't perform like this in anything that was important today. Um, I saved all my incompetence for a nighttime hobby. Of course, this build is important, but in terms of this being an entertainment channel, well, you can learn from my mistakes. All right, I think this goes like through this, but I can't see how. No, maybe it doesn't go. Maybe they're two separate pieces. Anyway, let's put this one on first. So. Kind of tough to read this piece. All right, no, I got it. It goes like this. And it goes right here all right so then this piece goes no <laughs> it goes like this you can kind of slip it into that broken half yeah there you go uh, it doesn't look too bad at this point but I gotta stop breaking pieces all right, now where does this go? Bro, is this the door handle? Uh, no, the door handle's on the inside. 
Uh, this is just some piece that I think keeps everything going on track when you're open and closing. I wish they would show a picture of what this looks like after it goes in because I'm having problem envisioning it. And they have the picture, like this is three, this is four, but I don't see this, oh wow, it's way up here. Wow, that doesn't look at all like the arrow makes it look. Um, I also don't think it's going to fit. I think it's too small for this slip. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the handle. Absolutely. So does it move? Is that why it's so big in comparison? Basically, this handle is smaller than the hole that it goes through. Significantly smaller. And I think it locks and unlocks. I think that's the reason for it. So see that little bit sticking out there? I'm going to grab this handle. See that? That's going to lock and unlock. And there's a second catch here. That's the, that's the locking mechanism. So it's interesting. They build this car. I mean, I guess it's it should be that way, but it's the first time I'm doing a Yui Gears puzzle. Um, they make it look like the real thing. But then in terms of the moving parts, it's like a toy. So like this lock works by sliding. It functions. It will function as a lock, but it's not the way the car would work. The engine is like a spring that you wind up. I'm actually, I think it's brilliant. Um, I think, I, I don't know how I never heard of this U Gears in the past. I think they, they do an amazing job with these puzzles. I'm very impressed. All right. Now I need to lock all three of these pieces on. Wait till you see this piece. You can probably see the picture of it there. So this is it. Uh, and then it gets two twos. And then it's going to lock into here. And it's going to lock in all of those pieces. I mean, look how cool that is. All right. Get the twos out. I think the twos are too small for me to break. <laughs> it needs to be a long skinny piece then I'll break it for sure wow look I almost broke that piece alright let me get my blade I don't want to mess up where was that blade I think it was here second one how do you get a second one in a Swiss army knife do you need to pull out the first one to get to the second one seems like you do Or are they at? There's probably, I should research. I'll look into that. Yeah. Although, let me check the text box in case anyone gave the answer. No. Uh, all right. Well, it doesn't fit in here. Not even the utility knife. So we have no choice but to push it through. That was a fail. Slide down to push it in. Close up. All right, I'm going to have to get this out, even though it definitely looks like a piece that's going to break. Get the whole thing at once to prevent breaking. It is clinging so tight on this side, and I couldn't get a blade in there, and I just know it's going to break. All right, didn't break, but well, it was nerve-wracking. All right, that goes in. I usually say put the big side in first. So that means I got to get the twos into the door first, and then I'm going to click this pitchfork piece on with some little accordion on it. That's interesting. All right, let's get these twos in there.
Did you hear about that um, interrogation technique where you talk to someone and you pretend that you don't care what they're saying so that they keep talking and they'll like more and more. Man, I pushed it all the way through. That's crazy. I couldn't get it in and then it went in too far. Was it putting in the wrong end? Anyway, now it should be easy to get it back to flush. Yeah, there we go. So anyway, it's like interrogation technique where you pretend like you don't care what the person's saying. So they'll keep saying more and more stuff to try to get you interested. And that's, that's it. It's like a non interrogation interrogation. So I was thinking this idea of um, having a live stream, it's like perfect for that. They probably, this whole concept of live streaming, that's probably why it exists. Like, I mean, you just want to get people talking so you know what they think. Not that anyone ever cares, like no one will ever watch your live stream. By the way, the piece that I broke is now lost. And we'll, okay, I see it. I'll be right back. I'll traverse under the desk to get that piece. So like, it's not like anyone will ever listen to your live stream, but maybe they'll put some computer on it and maybe they'll index it. And maybe they'll search it and maybe they'll, you know, the index will do the text to speech, the uh, voice to text, and then the text will be indexed and then they'll run some algorithms. And basically they're going to use all this, what? <laughs> what are they going to use all this for? It only possibly could use to just like falsely accuse and frame people. Like what, what could they possibly do with that information? All right, we gotta get number two in there. Like, if you really thought someone was committing a crime, uh, just do like regular evidence collection like you see in the movies and just like convict them. Now everyone wants to do this, I guess, minority report stuff where they just wanna pretend. Like, so now like shoplifters aren't arrested no, nobody arrest them. If you commit a violent crime, they let you out with no cash bail like the same day. But if you have a live stream or a blog or a YouTube channel or some type of way where you speak and you express yourself, then they're going to use all sorts of minority report type of calculations to invent some fake crime and charge you with it. I mean, what kind of nonsense we live in in these days? Real crimes are ignored because they're like, well, he's just committing a crime, you know, that's no big deal. But then it's like, oh, this guy wrote a blog. Oh, this guy had a live stream. Oh, that's, that's dangerous. That could be, that's unsafe. You know, stuff like that. I mean, what kind of backwards world are we currently living in? The, the legal system is like on its head. It, it doesn't know what it's supposed to be doing. I gotta read, I gotta sort of look through history. There have to be, like whenever something stupid happens, you can usually go through history and find that it's not the first time that stupid thing happened. And I bet you, maybe I'll come back with the answer tomorrow. By the way, we'll probably start a new puzzle tomorrow. I'll probably come back with the answer of when in history did we last do this and what was the result? Um, that should be interesting. All right, this is only going to lock on that sliding piece. Ah, so that's why we have the accordion, so it can still slide, even when it's like locked in. All right. All right, that's good. All right, now here's the lock. And it's still, did I do it backwards? Did I put the lock in backwards? All right, so I did. I put it in backwards. And I have to take that off. But again, it's on the accordion piece, so that's no problem. You can hear it. I'll probably break that piece in a minute. Okay, I got it in. So, there we go. The lock opens and closes. Do you see that? This piece, it's like an accordion. I don't know if you can see that. And then when I pull on this handle, it opens and closes. Oh, no, it opens, and then it automatically locks. How cool is that? 
These puzzles are engineered. Someone put time into them. I have to tell people about these Your Gears puzzles. By the way, that piece that I keep uh, breaking, uh, I also keep losing it. So at this point, I don't even know where it is. Uh, did it fall on the floor or the table? Oh, there it is. My finger landed on it. Uh, I don't know why I keep putting it back. It's just going to keep falling out. And I probably, at this point, should just forget about it. Because it's going to cost me a lot of time if I don't. Uh, Alright, so there it is. I put it in. It was going to fall out again in a minute, I guarantee you. Alright. So, we have to put another one of these 175s on. Alright, here's our chance to see if we can redeem ourselves. Get out of 175 without breaking it. Alright, 175. Here we go. Alright, let's get out the the main part first, or is that bad? Does that mean it's going to put the pressure on the skinny part? Let's get out the skinny part first. And let's fit the pick so it's going to pop out all at once. It's either going to work perfectly or we're going to break it again. Alright, I think I got the back end out. Now let's turn the pick around and go for the other end. There was another crazy video I saw today. I was like... Do you know who Prince Andrew is? Prince Andrew is like apparently the king's son or the or the king's brother. I don't know. Anyway, he was like one of those Epstein people. And uh, today they showed video of him with his daughter. And I don't know. <laughs> it looks like he groped her. I don't know. Hopefully it was an accident. But it's like... I saw like a slowed down version of it and just you see the way his fingers react and it looks like not a coincidence but you know sometimes those things happen sometimes you just fingers just follow a line and it's like they got a mind of their own um, especially on a day when it's like a morning but because of the reputation that he had a lot of people were reacting to it I don't know why I'm telling you this you either don't care or you already heard it it just like popped into my head. I guess it's like the weirdest thing that I saw today. Uh, all right, that piece is in. Of course, the first one keeps breaking. Uh, let's just like chuck this first one. I'm tired of putting it back in. It's wasting my time. But the door is otherwise pretty solid. I mean, look at that. Here's the door moving on its hinges. Here's the door locking and automatically re unlocking and automatically relocking. See the angle on this? The angle is such that it can, you know, open. But when it drops in, it's going to lock. I'm telling you, this thing is engineered. I mean, it's a little stupid wooden puzzle. I guess they just have to engineer it once and then with laser, you know, etching or laser cutting, whatever it's called, they basically can computer control it control they basically can just pu publish it so then after you put the time in to build it well then you're just cutting little stacks of wood that's very cheap but the effort that's put in to design this is a great amount of you know obviously precision uh, testing uh, f creativity um, there's a lot going on because you've got to make it a model and you've got to make it work and you're gonna do it in this small scale, and you gotta cut it in these pieces, you gotta design it. There's a lot going on here. I'm very impressed with this U Gears. All right, let's move on. I think it's the other side door. No. So this is the this is the inside of the door. So this is probably the outside of the door. So 176 and 177. Uh, there's 177. 176 is probably on the next sheet, I guess. Uh, it's not there. Uh, yeah, it's on the next sheet, I'm pretty sure. All right, 177. Uh, there's still some pieces here, but I'm gonna put it in the, the done box. All right, we're on the second to last sheet. We're moving along, as it were. 
All right. What did I say? What was the number of that piece? One seventy six. There it is. It doesn't say one seventy six on it though. It says one eighty six. Oh, okay. There's two of them. Oh, there's another piece fell out. That could be that bumper that I've been looking for the whole time to go here. Let's see. We'll find out. Nick, what did you say about Texas toast? Did you? So you didn't? It's in the freezer. Yeah, it's like buttered bread, but you gotta like toast it or something. I can hear myself through the speaker, even though it's on zero volume. Sorry, I shouted. <laughs> if anyone was falling asleep watching this video, they probably just woke up. I apologize. Go back to sleep. Get your rest. All right, so the outside of the door, I'm just making sure I got it lined up correctly. So it goes on the painted side or etched side, whatever you want to call it. I think it's just a burn. I think it's not even ink. I think they just burn like a, like the same tool they use to cut. You know, they cut at the depth of the wood. And then for the inking, I think they just burn, you know, like a few microns off. And that's the ink. Which, again, brilliant. I, I mean, someone needs to mention this U gear somewhere. I mean, I mean, they're doing good work. They deserve credit. People should know about them. Why do they know about Kardashians? I mean, what what is a Kardashian? Why does everyone know that they exist? Know about this U Gears. They're doing a lot of good work. All right. So now we attach this to that. I think we all saw that coming. All right. So there's the pins. Four pins. Four holes. Uh, let's do it. Slide this through. That's the lock. Yeah, the lock we've been talking about. All right. Is everything lined up here? Because if not, it's all going to break. <laughs> I think it's lined up. Two of them are in already. All right. How much force do we put on the other two? Whoa. Well, it's on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's the door. Swinging on its hinges. Locking, unlocking. Look at that door. How cool is that? That's a nice door. All right. We're still working on this door, huh? All right. Well, I think this page is going to be quite tedious. There was a lot of little pieces going on. 79 and 80 right now. 179 and 180. There's a, there it is, 179 and 180. It's inside of another piece. And I can't get it out without accidentally... Yeah, the other piece is gone. That was never going to happen. Basically... In the process of getting out these little pieces, I took out this mid-sized piece. There was really no way not to. Um, all right. Which is the big end? Which is the small end? All right. The big end goes into the door. There's no space there. It's on this side. No. There's no space there because that's the piece I broke. So there's nothing to hook it to. All right, we're just gonna make believe. We're just gonna hook it to it. We're just gonna do it anyway. Yep, yep, yep. We're just gonna do it anyway. Even though it's probably gonna be a foul. Oh, am I off the camera? I wonder how much tonight I've been off the camera. Uh, this up a little bit. Let's 
Yeah, fuck that though. I bet you I did it too much. Well, of course, yeah. Wow, way too much. Alright, let's bring that back down a notch. One more. All right, that'll work. So I probably, you didn't see half the assembly tonight because I was, uh, didn't really check the camera very well, I guess. This is why I want to build, I'm going to call it a, a set or a studio, but it's really just like, a fixed mounting position to a fixed, you know, four walled cube. It's like a cube with four of the walls. You can call it a light box, but I'm calling it a mini studio because it's not a light box. I'm making it out of different materials, but it'll have a consistent spot to put the camera so that I don't have to like play with it. I mean, I still have to check it, but I don't have to spend my life like playing with it and make sure it's correct. Like, get like getting it correct I don't have to do I won't have to do that every night I'll just have to look at it and see if it is correct or not all right so this piece that's missing or that's weak whatever you want to call it it's not missing it's, it has a weak attachment it's gonna hold the window it's gonna be 50% of holding the window so it's not good that it's broken but it is what it is i'll tell you what though it's kind of important and i think what i'm gonna do is tape it at least so it does so it stops falling out i probably should glue it i have some previous puzzles that had glue but i don't know i don't remember what i did with them Oh, actually, I do remember. It should be right here. Yeah, here's the glue. But glue is going to take a forever and a day to set. Uh, let me see if I can get a little bit of glue on there. No, I'm not going to do the glue. No, just put the tape on and it is what it is. You know, it's going to be weak, but at least it'll stay there. All right. Now we gotta attach the window. Part 178. I see the other side door is gonna be on this um, on this sheet, the other side door. Right now we're looking for the window, which is 178. Is this it? Is it what I knocked out before? Uh, it says 176, uh, but no, it's here. 187. All right, that's not it. We're looking for 178. 179, 176. Looks like, yeah, no, that's it. This is the, all right, this is the other side window. This is 178. It is this piece with all the little pieces inside of it. It's just that it's like one side and the other side. So I was looking at the the one I had knocked out previously was the other the other side. Hmm. All right. Look how skinny that piece is. I mean. How am I going to get this out without breaking it? I think before we use the pick, but definitely seems like it's going to break. Uh, it's so skinny, it's like impossible not to break it. I'm trying to support the points where it would break. Basically, what I couldn't do with the uh, blade, I'm trying to do with my hands, but all I'm doing is popping out the little pieces inside of this medium-sized piece. All right. Something's happening. All right. 
we got it out without breaking it. Look how long and skinny that piece is. That was like expecting, I was expecting that to break. But we got it out. All right, 181. I think that's one of these pieces. Is it finally? 180? No. That's not it. 181. Finally, we're using this piece. By the way, they haven't asked us to use the wax at all well, today. I don't know why, but they haven't. I guess it's uh, it's like bigger pieces and they're, you know, easier to get in. These little, these things, what is it? It's, it's so tough to work with. It's, it's Look how thin that is and look how perforated that is. I mean, how is that going to not break? I don't know where to hold it for you to see it. Um, all right, let's get this window on. So it goes on this side, does it? Oh, it goes like this. Huh. I'm not sure how it goes. I think this is it. Something like blocking it. Maybe because we taped that piece on, but not correctly. All right, let me get the non-broken side on. Well, you would think the broken side would be easier to get on because there's nothing really keeping it there. So we're gonna get a pretty good wedge though, once we get this in, and that might help. Can I, I feel like I'm going to break this piece twice <laughs> for the second time. This piece that I'm broken, taped on, I now have to push something into it. And I feel like it's just going to break again. Not like my repair job is going to come apart. I'm thinking like I'm literally going to break it again. All right, this needs to lean back a little bit so I can fit in there. Um, wow, I broke both sides. Now it's broken on both sides. And the original broken piece went flying, but I got it, I retrieved it. Hmm. All right, well, the build must go on, broken or not. Now it's gonna be taped on both sides. You know, I still can't get it in there, even with it uh, broken. When I try to fit it in, it like opens up like an alligator. All right. Both sides are broken. I mean, it's like, I can't even tell what it's supposed to do at this point. Oh, okay, in here, yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. All right. I'm gonna tape it on both sides. What choice do I have? It's either that or give up. I wonder if uh, in a year I'll get better at this and, and I won't break the pieces or if I'll just keep on breaking them. <laughs> it's entirely possible. It's, I think I talked about this before when I was doing the metal puzzles, which were impossible. One of the reasons I picked 
computer programming is because it's like it's all conceptual. Like you just got to think how to make it work. You don't have to actually with your own hands make it work. I mean, you got a mouse and a keyboard, but it's you're just like you know, if you drag and drop the mouse incorrectly, you just do it again, you know, and get it right the second time. The piece doesn't break. But I had this like porch work done last year. Uh, and the guy said no tiles. Like he was like, no, no tiles. We don't do tiles. We only do like rubber tiles, not porcelain tiles. And um, I was like, at first I was like, okay. And then he said, because I, I had these porcelain tiles, he didn't want to do like the cement tiles. But then I had these porcelain tiles on this, like, we call it the basketball court in the backyard, kind of like a basketball court. Basically, there's a hoop and there's a bunch of porcelain tiles in front of it, and we call it a basketball court. And he said, I could do those tiles like you have on the basketball court. Basically, they're not cemented in, they're just these two foot by two foot porcelain tiles, and he just dropped them on the you know, put the rails down and dropped them on the porch. Anyway, they needed to be cut at a few points um, to fit. It was like the end pieces needed to be cut, and then there were a few points by the rails that needed to be cut. And let me tell you something, they broke a lot of... <laughs> I mean, they weren't using the official, like, water, you know, where it drips the water and spins the blade. They weren't using that, like, tile cutter. They were using... They were, like, pouring... One guy was, like, pouring a water bottle or a garden hose while the other guy was cutting... And let me tell you, they broke so many of those tiles. Um, so, look at this. <laughs> I'm just breaking it every time I touch it. This piece is just not, I mean, forget about it. This window is just not going to do anything. Maybe it's going to, something there is going to hold it on. I better stop lamenting this window or the puzzle's not going to get finished tonight. All right, let's just get this on. By the way, this threads underneath here which means right where I tape was was so let me put that on first and then we'll worry about the tape to tape or not to tape hmm. I think it goes on the other side maybe yeah that was much easier That's it, but everything's completely destroyed. It's like, oh, this has to fold down and click into the bottom piece, which means exactly where it's broken, there's now going to be tension going opposite the direction of the break, which means it's going to like push it apart. But it didn't. It stayed together. <laughs> All right. Looks like another door handle. I guess for the outside this time. All right. So, by some miracle, this is staying together. Uh, I think it's tilting a little bit. Um, this helped. This piece definitely helped, but there's, it's not perfect. It's far from perfect. Um, right. And there it goes. It just pulled right out. Unbelievable. This t this piece, we have to curve it, which means it wants to uncurve, which means there's tension on exactly the spot where it's broken on both sides. It's just going to keep pulling out. I wonder what I can do here. Can I add like a toothpick across the back? What do I have here? Ok. 
Got rubber bands. Can I put a rubber band across it? But then I won't have the rubber band for when I need it. Well, I can always just grab another rubber band from somewhere else. I'm just trying to counteract that tension from the door handle. Because that tension keeps pulling this apart. So, I figure if I can get more tension in the opposite direction, that won't happen. All right, there we go. All right, so we fixed it with a rubber band. And we fixed it pretty good because we pinned not only the broken pieces, but that tension piece. So I think that should be pretty good. So rubber bands are better than tape. All right, back to searching for the door handle. 182, I don't need these two sheets. Nope, there it is, 182. It's actually a few 182s. So 182 and 183, there's a few of both of them. 183 is just falling out. 182, definitely a piece that could break if we're not careful. I hear crackling sounds. Hopefully it's splinters. Yeah. All right. So it says put this through here. Is it ambidextrous? It looks like it's further out on this side and that's the side they want to go through. So that's done. All right, now we get, what? This is going in, into the broken piece? Yep, that's what it's doing all right. It's going into the broken piece. Unbelievable. What, what is this? A, is this a mirror? Like a rear view mirror? Yeah. Into the broken piece. So, I think they want us to go the same direction as this tension, but, oh, there's a notch. There's a freaking notch on one side. How was I supposed to notice that? Well, my fault, I should have been more careful. So this piece that's given us fits and we fixed with the rubber band, there's a notch on this side and not on this side. And I have to attach this on this side, but without the notch, it doesn't work. So what are we gonna do? Get bolt cutters and make our own notch? Break a little piece off there. Oh, there's a notch. Well, because it's on the other side, it's also kind of upside down, which means that I need to notch the second piece, not the first one. All right. Let's see if we finally got it. I feel like those dreams of finishing tonight are slipping away. It's already past midnight. And we're far from the tires. All right. Well, I didn't promise we would finish it tonight. I said maybe we would finish it tonight. I think for tomorrow, I'm going to promise that as long as we start this stream tomorrow, as long as I'm available, we're going to finish it tomorrow. This rear view mirror doesn't want to go into this broken piece for whatever reason. All right, it's in. Um, did 
That's it. That door is done. It looks like shit. And we cheated using the rubber band, but it's done. By the way, this broke above the rubber band. So it's still... <laughs> it's still... It's like no matter what we do, this piece just... I mean, we're breaking it. We're like breaking it and then breaking it again. It's, it's garbage. Just that one piece is garbage. It's like splintering. That's how it works, you know. You, you damage something and then... If you don't take it out and fix it, it just gets worse and worse. Um, Alright, now we're supposed to build a second door. Alright, let's do it. Let's build the second door, and then tomorrow we'll move on. You know why? Because I at least want to do this door correctly this time. <laughs> let's see if I can get the two 170s out without breaking them this time. Alright, push out from the back and go lengthwise. Maybe I won't break it this time. Wow, it really wants to break. I mean, look at this. This thing does not want... It wants to break. It does not want to get out of there in one piece. Impossible. That was one good thing about the metal puzzles. You could see the connectors and you were clipped that you were supposed to clip them. You're supposed to use these like jewelry clippers and clip them. It wasn't cheating, it was was what you're supposed to do. These wooden ones, you can't even get a blade in there. And if you don't support them just right when popping them out, they break. And look at this. See that line in the wood? Like, there's a knot in the wood. Like, this piece is already impossible to get out. And there happens to be a knot in the wood. Like, right... You can see it, right? Look at that line right there. It's like, right where I need to... Right where I needed to get it out without breaking it. The wood doesn't want to separate. Alright, there's the two 170s. Is it back on the board we already finished? We need 169, 172, oh that's the piece that broke, these 172, 175, yeah that's the piece that broke, we got to be very careful with that one, alright, uh, 169, it's not, no there it is, Right, I went back to popping out from the front because you know what? Before they I read the heard the instructions from the guy at U Gear saying pop out from the back, I was popping out from the front, and yes, I was getting a lot of splinters, but I didn't break any pieces. So I think I, I think pop out from the front is the way to go, and just just sand the splinters. It's better than these things breaking on you. And that's what probably why that guy was using a blade. He basically was making up his own rules. His own rules were like, pop out from the back, but first cut them with the blade. Well, pop out from the front. Now I say pop out from the front. At least you don't need, you don't need a blade, and the pieces hopefully don't break. All right, so we just did the hinge. 184. That's the world's easiest piece to pop out. Alright, 184. This way. This way. Well, oh, there we go. The hinge.
pick, get those hinges in. They're in. Good. 185 and the first of the 172s. Those are the pieces that break. The 172s. The 185s, those, that's the, the locking, the auto locking mechanism that we had so much fun with on the other side. That is 185. back to punching out from the front oh my goodness so much easier the guy who works for the company gave that advice you punch out from the front i don't know let's see when we pop out the 172 we'll see if it works if it works then we did it correct if it doesn't work back to the drawing board all right it's time 172 it's time to find out. Right. Got it out without breaking it. Seventy-two. You know, it's funny that the guy who works officially for the company would give bad advice. It reminds me of uh, <laughs> some uh, idea that I came up with a number of years ago regarding the stock market, and I had like tried to listen to the newspapers, and it had never worked. And then at one point just realized, well, why would the newspaper tell you when to buy and sell? And they're probably, they're probably not on your side and would rather that you're wrong so they can be right. Uh, and once I came up with that philosophy, I just uh, understood everything a lot better about the stock market. All right. It shows, uh, did I put this on backwards? No, this, this lock is like in the way of where I want to put this, 172. Did I pop out 172 or 175? Uh, it's 172, but the door handle's in the way. Do I have the door handle on the wrong side? No, it's on the right side. So why is this in the way? Let me check how it works on the other side. There's a door handle so broken by the way it's like getting more and more broken yep there we go completely busted i have to do that rubber band again Because one is broken high and one is broken low, we really can't even use this rubber band. Like one side is broken high and the other side is broken low. So it's not even going to work. But we just, you know, go with it. Oh, and the reason I picked this up was to see how this piece goes. And I couldn't even tell you by looking at it. Oh, no, this piece. Does it go in front? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay. So it's supposed to jump over this then. All right, so that's fine. I was thinking it's in the way, but apparently that's just what it's where it's supposed to be. The only thing is, I think it's supposed to be higher.
like this slot is just supposed to go over this. But if I do that, it's not going to reach. Hmm. Is it maybe these pieces up here? Just, uh, just doesn't seem like it reaches. What's going on here? It's like doesn't reach. Did they say? Did they write one seventy two when they meant one seventy five? The other side is one seventy five. Did I put everything on backwards? That's a that's definitely a possibility, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Is this why the other side kept breaking? Because this piece doesn't fit? I'm stumped. Piece doesn't fit. <laughs> Something's not right. I think it may be that isn't one eighty five. No, it has to be. It's only one one piece like that. Yeah, that's 185, all right. But it doesn't go in. All right. I'm going to take that out. Put this on first because this has to go here. It has no choice. You know what? That is the correct way. This goes in first. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I just wasted 10 minutes. Yeah, that was the answer. You put that piece in first. Oh, one, two. Okay, I didn't know what those meant. All right, one, two. Well, I think I'm really proving what a failure I am with these puzzles, but I'll get better as I do more of them. All right. And now, where are those two twos? They're tiny little buggers. I know I have twos on prior sheets, and I'll go grab them from there if I don't see them. Yep, let's check the prior sheets for twos. 95. Fifty 
58. Other twos on here. There are not. Other twos in these little middle sections. There are not. Check this one again. What am I missing? Where are those twos? They're like tiny little things. They're tiny little locking pieces. And it's usually two of them right next to each other. I don't see them. Twos in earlier sheets that didn't get used. There's one of them. There's a there's a two. All right. We st oh, we need another two. That's not a two, but it looks like it. All right. Any other twos on this sheet? Nope. Any twos on this sheet? There were once twos, but not currently. Just hunting for twos. Fourteen. Fifty-eight. Like. Mm. Nope. Don't see those twos. Ninety-five looks so much like a two, but uh, it has to say two or it's not right. All right. I'm gonna have to go back to the future. There's gotta be a two on this last page. This page we didn't get to yet. Let's check it for a two. No, I'll tell you, it looks like a very easy page. That's why I wanna get to it, but it's so late and I don't think I can. Yeah, I probably can't. I wanted to get at least that door just so I can do it without breaking the pieces this time. Uh, you know what? Let's just go with using only one of the twos. I mean, what are we going to do? Right? Got to gotta go. Although, again, it's the lock. It's the piece that slides. So now we're going to do a sliding piece with only one of the two pins. That sounds like a bad idea. when we did this on the other side it went all the way through went too far in I put my finger on the other side this time hopefully prevent that from happening twice dropped the piece and twice caught it not straight when I try to straighten it it pulls out hmm. how can I straighten it without pulling it out I don't think I can Maybe by putting this next piece on. But we gotta have this in place first. Is that correct? 
No, that's correct. We did it with only one of those twos because I couldn't find the other one. But it actually looks like it's still going to work. It's not that much tension. Uh, now, of course, I'll probably spot that two right away. Hmm. I don't know why I'm still looking. I already moved on without it, but I'm just curious if it would suddenly jump out. Uh, all right. Put that on. Okay, 175. Here we go. Can we get this out without breaking it? We got the 172 out, so it's certainly possible. But it's frightening. Yeah, there's the spot. We got it. All right, so we got both pieces out without breaking them. All right, I well, just got to assemble it. I don't believe it goes the same. Nope. Yeah, 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 it does. I, I had it the wrong way. It does go the same way, but for some reason I was holding it the wrong way. All right, now we got to get it in there without breaking it. Basically, this piece is always in danger of breaking because it's a long, skinny piece. All right, it's in. All right, we built this side without breaking either of the, those 175 or 172. Let's put the other side door on. And honestly, it's 90 minutes right now, so we're probably going to have to stop. I'll just complete this door. Uh, 177. Wow, I really thought we would finish tonight. But anyway, something to look forward to tomorrow. Kind of makes sense because tomorrow's Thursday and then Friday I'm, I would move on to something else, whether this is finished or not. So we definitely have to finish it tomorrow. That's a must. So it'll be another 90 minutes tomorrow, I guess. Wow, so it's going to end up taking 10 days. It'll take 10 days for this build. I'm sure that that's 10 hours. I bet you that's a slow time. I doubt that that's a good time. By the way, we didn't put these doors on yet. It would be nice to put them on before we pack it in for the night, but I'll just stick them in the flatbed. Uh, what are you going to do? They do get put on. No, they don't get put on. We're moving on to... Oh, they do get put on. When do they get put on? It's the next page is showing the, the door on, but the previous page doesn't show to put the door. Oh, there you go. That, that page you put on. All right. Uh, I'm still going to stick them in the flatbed because I think it's just too much to do in one night. from the other side but now it's much better without all those broken pieces all right hmm tricky though I, I, those pieces could break yet again I'm, I'm trying to push them in and lock them in but these other pieces are already here all right I should lock from that end I should get that end in first and then lock. I, I locked the wrong end. All right, this piece not going to break. I think I can safely pull that off. All right, we'll put this in first, and then we'll look to lock the top row first, and then the bottom row. Good, we did it. So, yesterday we did these doors. Well, it looks like we did one door and the other door we did like halfway. 
Uh, so we didn't attach them, so we just stuck them in the back of the truck. I remember thinking I was going to attach them, but this one doesn't even have the window yet, so I don't know why I was thinking that. I was way off with that. All right, anyway, let's get back to work here. Got our 72-page instruction booklet. Uh, we got our sheets, which at this point are mostly done. One, uh, two, three, four blank sheets. One about a third of the way in, excuse me. And the last one is mostly tires. So we're moving right along here. And then we've got these little, little half sheets and I've got a bunch of pieces that fell out and they're in this bag. So I'm just going to pull those out. Never know when they're going to be needed. They, they were part of sheets at one point, but they fell out and I'm just kind of collecting them all here. So you can type in the chat box anything you want. You can pick any topic. It doesn't have to be uh, about the puzzle. I know that it should be about the puzzle, um, but it doesn't have to be. You can ask about anything. Um, and I don't know why I said should be about the puzzle. It, you know, it should be about anything. I mean, it could be about the puzzle. It's certainly welcome, but it could be about anything else too. No, no real agenda here. Broken pieces. Some of these broken pieces I, I think I could just throw out. I don't know why I'm holding on to them. Because I, I guess until it's done, I don't really know. Oh, and the window. The window that we're about to attach was one of those pieces in this uh, bin. This plastic gets in my way every night. <laughs> but it's got two rubber bands. So maybe we're going to need them. See, there's some of this little tiny piece has important piece on it. And of course we got the wax. The wax often comes in handy. Making pieces fit together. It's like they when they wax the wooden skis. Is that still a thing? They probably have like fancier skis these days, but I guess they still wax them. Anyway, you definitely need to wax this wood to make it work. Alright. truck back there for a second. Let's get back to building these doors. Wow, we're pretty deep into this book. Uh, what are we up to? Here? 49? I think so. Well, it looks about right. Tough to know whether whether we're on the first door or the second door. I mean, the doors kind of look alike. Oh, yeah, uh, they look a lot alike. <laughs> well, I guess the last door before we attach it, and I believe that's what we're. Uh, page fifty, I think that's it. We're probably right up to page fifty. Yeah, I think that's right. All right, because we had attached this side to this side the interior and the exterior of the door have been attached and the next thing is the window which is this we just gotta punch these uh... wow this is remember that skinny little piece we, we managed to not break this yesterday on the other window by being quite careful with how we punched it out so let's try to do that again I think we did like a full side at once. Wow. We support the back of the that little rail. Because there's this long skinny divider in the window. And those are the pieces that break the most. The long skinny pieces. So I'm trying to be real careful. See there's a 180. Remember this 180? So there was another one here. But this one was already used. Alright, so now I got support from the other side. 
We're still working right up next to that long skinny piece. It could easily break, but you know, it's just a window. It's not going to be a big deal, even if it does break. It's not a, like a functional piece. It's not a gear. It's not something that holds a gear. It's not going to attach two things together. It's a divider of two sections of a window. So as crazy it is, it is to have something that's skinny. Nothing bad would happen if it broke. We would just feel bad about it, I guess. Uh, all right, now we got to attach this thing. Uh, how do we do that? So, uh, you know what? Yeah, no, that's right. That's it. I was thinking the ink side was wrong, but no, that's correct. And it's not an ink; it's a it's a burn. It's a shallow burn. Uh, all right, one of these accordion pieces, 181. Last time, this was like kind of crazy. Um, 181. All right, it's going to be easier this time. Last time we had it broken, both sides were broken, and we held them in place with a rubber band. This time, both sides are working, and I guess we just, I guess it's going to work out much better. We'll do another quick sound check. All right, that's good. Um, so the second day I'm working with this uh, microphone. So I just, that's why I just did a second sound check. There's a lot of things on the way. I'm going to have uh, sort of a studio soon. It's got, it's uh, it's going to be like a four walled box. It's just going to be a tabletop thing. Uh, the three walls are going to be magnetic whiteboard. And then the fourth wall, which is the base is going to be felt. So that's going to be a good surface to build on. And then the, the magnetics or you know the whiteboard i can write on it i can magnet things on it uh and then the camera is going to move to uh, a boom i think it's called it's basically something that you can like position like this lever arm uh you'll see i mean stick around keep showing up each night it'll be fun we'll get better and better but you know, I say it's going to be fun, and I guess it is. I've gotten some comments from people watching the replays. But I think the original theory on why it would be like a nightly live stream was that you can turn it on and fall asleep. Like, there's not going to be any ads. I'm not going to shout. I'm not going to say anything that's going to make you want to scream at the TV because it's against your theories on something. You know, so basically it's going to be boring. <laughs> that, that's the market we're going for here I mean, nice and boring um, all right so right now I'm trying to bend this piece it's weird that this piece bends in the first place am I supposed to pre-bend it I remember last time I had the slot on the wrong side so let me just pay attention to that yes they're saying uh, yeah I was about to do it wrong again <laughs> so let me take that out Good thing I didn't finish that because I had that in wrong just like on the other side on the other side I got it wrong oh did I put them yeah I'm gonna have to stick with it basically well they're both called 181 so they must be ambidextrous yeah okay I got it for a second there I was thinking like I messed up one and I have to stick with the other but they have the same number which means they're the same which means I just fold it inside out I had a moment of panic, but it was nothing. Not worth it. Not worth panicking. I mean, I'm sure I'll break more pieces, but <laughs> it's just not worth crying over spilt milk. do have kind of an interesting story to tell tonight. I don't know if it's an interesting story to tell 
or if I'm just like bragging. <laughs> uh, I picked my son up from school today. It was like the first practice. Oh, that's on locked on pretty good there. The first practice where he was throwing um, discus for the year. You know, the school year just started and there were other people there. And they changed where they're throwing. So the old place where they throw, you could throw for like 200 feet or whatever and there was no problem. Whereas the new place, there's a fence. And so if you throw too far, you know, it just hits the fence and it stops there, which is fine. I mean, it's just training. You don't need to measure those throws. If it hits the fence, it's fine. So we measured the fence to see how far it is. And it was 114 feet. And my son had won a big meet last year. And coincidentally, at that meet, he threw 114 feet. So it was like exactly that distance so we know he could throw at least that far and in fact during the throwing practice he did throw a couple of them into the into the where the fence is so i took one throw one single throw <laughs> and it was a standing throw and i didn't think i was putting that much power into it and my son was just saying that something was um can I show him, you know, show him how I do it and then he'll do the same. So I took one throw and I didn't feel like I'd put a ton of power into it, <laughs> but it was the only throw of the day that sailed clear over that fence, like didn't hit into the fence. It was like a 10 or 12 foot fence and it just like 114 feet away and it just like flew right over the top of it with plenty of room to spare. So that felt good. I mean, for years old haven't thrown in decades <laughs> and I still remember not only did I still remember how to do it but even without putting any any power into it I mean it went the thing flew so I was happy about that and then I was telling them you know that's what you got to do you got to line up those forces get them going in the right direction get a good release and you know you throw 150 without power yeah i mean the real guys throw 240 you know in that extra 90 feet that's what you need the power for but like winning a high school meet i mean all you gotta do is do it correct you don't really need to be a powerhouse by the way i was looking all through this sheet and these two pieces i was looking for were just popped out of that window like a little bit earlier it's um they do show on the sheet where they come from. Sometimes they show you. I don't know if they showed these ones, but yeah, I actually don't think they showed these ones. So they were very tricky. They came from the window, um, which is tricky to go back. You're looking at the sheet. You're not looking at the window, but at the same time, the window was the thing done most recently. So you would think that I would remember. So let that be a lesson to you. When you pop out a piece that has other pieces in it, Take note of the numbers because it might be relevant. All right, that's done. Well, actually, all that's done is I knocked the piece out. All right goes near the notch lines go horizontal I don't think you, yeah yeah you could mess up uh, it may not be a huge deal yeah, it's just a mirror uh, will should the lines on the mirror go horizontal or vertical I don't think it really makes a difference all right so as I recall this goes right where the notch is I think pretty sure it's a mirror so yeah the doors Right, it's a truck, pickup truck, so it only has one set of, of passenger doors. So, of course, they would have the mirror on it. Tough to get a click on this piece. Can't, can't really get the angle, plus you're worried that you're going to break this accordion thing. I, I think I just did. That, that was not a good click. That, that click did not come from the piece I was working on. Hopefully it wasn't too bad, whatever happened. But whatever it is, it is. Yeah. Tough to get a click on these mirrors without breaking this accordion piece. 
well, whatever. If it falls out, I'll put it back in. I'm just going to leave the mirror like that. I didn't get the click sound. All right, so now it's time to attach a door. All right, first, they want me to study the door. All right, let me take a look here. All right, I'm looking at the door. Looks pretty good. Now, now it's time. We're going to attach the door to the truck. All right, let's just follow exactly how they do it. They start with this one on this side. Go right up to the front, click that right in. Boom, your door is on. It's a hinge, so I can uh, put it in from any angle. Got one side to click. The other side is going to be tougher. Yep, definitely tougher. I don't want to break what I'm pushing it into. All right, I got to support it from underneath. Where's the best angle for that? I think come from the back, maybe? From the top? Yeah, nope. Yeah, yeah, that's it, from the top, from inside. There we go. Got it. This door is on. Wow, that's cool. I got one of the doors on. I like it. That's beautiful. That's one of the most satisfying things done so far. Um, all right, I'm going to attach something else. We're not quite done with this yet. And I assume we got to put both doors on, but for now we're just putting one on. This is close the door and then we need the piece known as 188. One seventy eight. like Garbo. Let me move that out of the way. All right. 188. I got to learn how to breathe without doing that sniffle. That's another thing I got to learn to be a streamer. All right. What does it look like? I don't know. Like a little triangle. No, that kind of looks like that, but that's not it. There's another one of those. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's an interesting piece. You know, it's like I want to save time, but I don't want to break these pieces. I got to be careful. All right. The orientation on this. Oh, okay. This is part of the wheel well. Uh, I'll just slide it in here. That's not high enough. It can't be right. No. Yeah, yeah, that's what they want. It just doesn't look like it's gonna work to me, but okay, I'll do what they say. So, there's a door hinge, and there's a little piece next to it, and that's where they want this to go. But I think something I'm doing not right. How does it go? Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks right. Much better. If I can get it on.
break it. All right, I'm gonna use this pick to push it in. I felt like I was putting a lot of force. Usually when I do that, if it doesn't go in, it means it's gonna break. You can only put so much force on these pieces, so let me try wiggling it. It's obviously off in some way. I mean, it looks pretty good, but it's not flush. So, I don't know if anyone, any of the people who tune into the puzzles also tune in on Sundays. I've been doing books. The first couple of Sundays I did other people's books and then for three weeks in a row I did a lecture magnet and now and that worked out good because I had the the artist from those books on that thing so on the live stream so I have some other books that I did with some other artists I think I'm gonna do live streams for those too so tune in on Sunday nights if you like to hear about from creators of comic books maybe not everybody does but some people probably do all right, that door is on, and that little bit of wheel well is on. And then there's one more picture here, but it doesn't look like anything's happening in that picture, and it doesn't show a check mark. Um, hmm. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Let's see if the door still moves now that we added that piece. Wow. It doesn't. It knocks that piece out. that piece not in enough well I don't know what more I can do with this piece it looks like it's in all the way but when I open the door it, it pushes it the door basically doesn't open very far now now that we added this wheel well piece but I don't know what I can do about it. It's just the way it is. All right, if I angle it. Yeah, these doors just don't open very far once you assemble the rest of the, the vehicle. That's weird. Hmm. See if I could push it in any further. I can't. Oh, the door was locked. Did you see that? Remember that? Yes, they were playing with the lock. So the door locks. You have to slide it to open it. Oh my goodness, this thing is awesome. All right, the door is on. It opens, it locks. What more do you want? All right, put the other door on. I guess we knew that was coming. Now the other door is busted, but the attachment isn't busted. So hopefully we can attach that without breaking everything else. Well, that's done. I don't know. Uh, the top one didn't click, but I, I think I'll, there we go. Top one is now clicked. All right. This door. Uh, this door doesn't lock as well as the other one. It has the lock. It has the space for the lock to go into. I guess it's not lining up because of, um, you know, the other one didn't lock either until I added the wheel well piece. So let me not think too hard about that. Let me add the wheel well piece and maybe then it'll lock. Um, yep, wheel well. 188. I mean, I, I knew that. I mean... I, I confirmed it in the instructions, but like, of course, that's what, of course, that's what was up next. Like, what else could you do, possibly do? This piece is no fun. This 
especially when you supporting like from across the the other side of the truck feel like everything's going to break apart when you try to force this in i mean i'm not really i shouldn't have to force it i mean it's it should line up but it does it doesn't seem to go in very easily it takes a lot of effort you can see it's far from flush at this point what i and i just broke off the uh I don't even know. I mean, it's the winch, it's the, um, what is this thing called? The um, mirror. It's actually not that big of a deal, but let's see if I can get it back on. It's not a big deal because nothing else attaches to the mirror. If the mirror falls off, it falls off, but you know, I would like to keep it on if we could. All right. This wheel well is almost flush. I think the way we got it on on the other side is by putting it in on the angle and then opening this door. Well, I'm not going to play with this door much. In fact, it was a good situation when it was locked. It got locked at some point because this is the door with broken pieces that's held together by a rubber band. And I think if we can get it to lock, we're just gonna leave it locked. We had it a minute ago locked. I should have left it. All right, it's locked now, the wheel well's on. Let's stop touching it. All right. Doors are on, wheel wells on, check. Ooh, some interesting piece here. Uh, it's a fairly big piece called 189. 195, 189. The neighbor outside is playing some thumping. Music, thump, thump. I don't know if that's coming across. Why would they do it this late? Uh, anyway, whatever. Uh, all right. Before they even tell us where this is going to attach, we got to build stuff, and we need a 191 and a 190. I'm just checking if those pieces are in any of these ones they punched out. We kind of look like it. 191. And a 190. Alright, well, there we go. 191. And 190, it should be a little circle piece. There's 190, but it's way too small of a circle. All right. It's labeled, there's a 193 label here, but the 190, I don't know where that 193 is going. Maybe this wheel well piece that we already used, was that 193? No, that was 188. I don't know what 193 is pointing to, but I'm pretty sure this one is 190. Maybe one night, ah, oh, there's a piece going around. Like the 190 is inside of the 193. That's what it is. Fairly big splinter on that one. All right. So these actually don't go to each other. They go to different spots. Get the orientation. There's the notch. It's a rounded part. Um, which goes here it's like showing this piece but nothing attaches to it I guess they're just showing it for orientation reasons and it looks like this middle piece is what they want snapped on what's that is that a tail light brake light let's see what that's going to be 
All right, now this little piece, where does that go? Uh, right here. It kind of blocks another piece. Is that correct? I think it is. Yeah, I don't get it. I feel like it should go to this one, but it goes to this one, which is kind of far away. But that's what the instructions say, so that's what we're doing. Are we going to finish tonight? We're 33 minutes in. Every night I think we're going to get further faster than we do. <laughs> I guess I need to speed up. Oh, by the way, that 193, it's like going to go right back on. Like we popped the 190 out from the 193, but it looks like it goes right back on. Maybe it goes on upside down, but yeah, yeah that goes right on. What was the point of popping it out? It goes right back on. Maybe the angle is different. Yeah, it is. It's a slant angle. We had the same situation yesterday with the upholstery. So the only reason you detach it is because one, one gets slanted. There we go. You can see the slant. All right. For the next piece, they want some wax. All right. We can do that. Uh, 194. 194. We're looking for a long piece with a circle. That looks like it. Long skinny pieces. Those are the ones that could break when you pop them out. Try to be careful. This one's not coming out, by the way. Try supporting the back side. Yeah, this thing is not coming out without a fight. There we go. Got it. All right. This way. Pop that on. Oh, it's got a little bar. It's going to stay on. Probably it rotates in some way. Not really. There's a clip right there. I don't know if it's like... Uh, it looks like it does rotate, but... There's also a notch for it right there. Um, and it doesn't really show it, so I don't know what to do with this thing. It, it shows it here, but it shows it like backwards. You can't see where it's going. Anyway, I got to attach four 192 pieces. Four of them? Because there's six of them. Okay, four it is. You just think that there would be eight of them here. Or I'd be, or we'd be attaching three, but nope, we're attaching four. It's probably two more hidden somewhere else, or maybe the second time we do them, what are we doing two? All right, created some splinters on that, but at least we didn't break the piece. All right, gonna go right down the line. One, two. Three, four. Boom. Zap. Pow. All right, we assembled whatever the hell this is. But what? It has a headline on it, but it looks like. Where are they attaching this? Is this part of the engine? Yeah, this is the headlight. Yeah, it's exactly the headlight. Um, 
Oh, it's just going to be like a bumper piece that's going to fold over that. This is just like structure. It's just like a spine, kind of. All right, so in order to attach this, they say lift this up. Does that still lift up? No, that doesn't lift up anymore. It's bolted on there. Hopefully we can do it without lifting that up. They want us to lift the hood, but the hood is attached to the grill, and I don't feel like lifting it. Uh, let's see if that's necessary. All right. We're definitely putting this uh, headlight in right here. That's what's happening. And how do we do that? What pieces do we attach to? It shows four attachment points. One, two, one, two, two, three, four. So I just want to match the orientation of the instructions. And look at this piece. Where does this go? Can be raised up. Oh, is that to hold the hood up? Does that piece hold the hood up? I think it does. And you want to open the hood, you open that piece. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. Definitely makes more sense from this angle. But we got four pieces. What did we break? Hopefully, we didn't break anything. I don't see any pieces on the floor. We definitely put some English on that uh, wheel well piece. How about that? Wheel well went in first. <laughs> I was looking at it thinking it's going to be impossible. It went, it went in first. It's back out again. Maybe it will be impossible. I think I do want to lead with that wheel well because it's a, a moving piece. So I want to get it right. All right this front piece would be also nice to get. Every time I do, I knock the back off. So, I guess we're going to do the front first. Seems to be a tougher piece. I knocked the mirror off again. All right. None of these are working so far. Is it sort of a big piece here? Maybe that's the piece you want to get first. At least, you know what? At least I can get a good angle on that one. I can get good pressure on it. So, and it, as I said, it's a big piece. So I think that should be the first piece. Meanwhile, here I am back at the wheel well. All right, let's get this piece on. The wheel well is like half on. Oh, I got it. This is going in. Yep, that's in. Uh, that's in. And this front piece is not in, but I think well, if I can find that pick, I think I can get that in. All right. All right I need a little more still. Uh, what is going on here? I, I can't see what I'm doing. All right, I'm close. It's definitely close. All right, there it is. It's on, it's on the line. Just gotta go on. It didn't go on. I think, feel like I'm breaking the piece rather than going on. Uh, 
it didn't feel, it doesn't see it feel like great but it's on and that uh, mirror forget about it I think that's uh, something I have to put back on at the end because if I put it on in the middle I'm just gonna put it on like end of reattaching it like 40 times another piece where glue would do wonders <laughs> all right let's move on fender is that the word for that it's gonna hold the fender all right let's do the next one kind of cut myself doing that well, not to the blood, but just a scrape. see two more of these pieces but we clearly need four of those pieces maybe the last sheet has a couple of them gonna hold the the thing that holds the light the part of the fender I think they're going for that look where it like flips up do you ever see those like things that like flip up you know when the light like the light flips up inside the cage or the light has a cover and the cover flips up it's like something like that I think is what they're going for with this uh, light being offset compared to the uh, whatever the cover whatever you want to call that all right and now they need four 192s which is an odd thing to ask for because we only have two 192s maybe one of those other sheets that we punched out has more of them there was a the big hood section here maybe it's in the hood yep that's exactly where it is it's two more 192s there. It's also a whole middle that probably gets punched out, but I'm not going to assume it. I'm going to wait and see what the instructions say. All right. Boom. Pow. Zap. Bang. All right. Fender structure built. Make it fit. Anyone remember which one we did first last time? Was it the uh, Was it the wheel well? Definitely want to get a look here. Make sure that's lined up before I move on. The rubber band's kind of in the way of me closing this. Right, that's on. Now let's get this one on. This is an important piece structurally. All right, that feels good. Let's drive it in. Something is not on, which is preventing that one from closing. It's the same thing, we, same issue we had on the other side. This like back, this front, whatever you want to call it. Basically, this grill. Tough to get on. All 
All right. Um, keeps popping back off. Not sure what that's all about. It's like it's supposed to snap and and stay there, but I put it on and it like pops back off. Like it doesn't feel like staying on. Whoa. I uh, felt some pieces moving. And I don't think that's supposed to happen. All right, it's on. I don't know if it's on amazingly well, but it's on. Ooh, another bumper? I thought we already did the bumper. I guess we did the rear bumper. We gotta do the front bumper now. All right, that's not the next piece though. The next piece, we gotta finish the wheel well on both sides, 196 and 197. Let's pop them both out and then figure out which one goes where. All right. All right, this is the outside. The skinny side goes, no, no, this is the outside. Skinny side goes to the back. Yeah. I think we all can see where that attaches right here. Not sure what that latches onto. Maybe down here. Yeah, that looks right. All right, let's get that in. Definitely need more camera angles. I mean, sometimes I remember to try to show you what I'm doing, but I'm sure that a lot of it is being missed. All right, so you see this notch right here, right? I gotta get that in. But these two front ones, they're fairly well on. So, this back one, it would be nice to get it flush. Not a huge deal though. There we go, we got it. Uh, that's starting to look pretty nice. Good, good. Nice, nice, nice. Wheel well is on both sides. Uh, you know what? It's not perfect here stuck on the uh, the floor the floor is blocking the ability to close this wheel well gotta get some separation why though why is it like that it's really jammed huh all right I think I got it I I can, there we go that's done wheel well is on both sides look good. Definitely where they need to be. All right. They're taking away our checks. They're not giving us, they're giving us the, the like a, a panel to check, but they're not giving us the thumbs up or the, the green check mark. Come on. They owe us at least that green check mark. All right, two 198s. We're building the, the front bumper. I've been watching that 70s show lately. I basically watch a different show each day when, I, uh, when I'm eating my breakfast. And I had watched it uh, on Netflix. I was watching it at some point. I was watching that 70s show on Netflix and then it left Netflix. And then I started watching Frasier on Paramount or no, Peacock. And then it eventually showed up on Paramount, but anyway, Here's the thing. I watched the entire 11 seasons of Frasier. And then when I was on like the last day of Frasier, I basically watched it like all year. Since I started watching it when that um, 70s show disappeared from, um, from Netflix. And then when I was on the last episode of Frasier, 70s show reappeared on Peacock. <laughs> so I switched to that. So you probably can look up like when it left Netflix and when it came to Peacock 
that 70s show and that's probably the exact amount of time you need to watch Frasier one episode per day which is what I did I mean maybe I skipped some days but I never watched two in a day because I just think like why should I um, you know save some fun for the next day Long skinny pieces, these are the type that want to break. Feels like it's out, but it's not somehow. I'm just trying to get this bumper. They're, they're all long skinny pieces in the bumper, that's just how a bumper works. Uh, and then, I'm supposed to use these pieces basically all right 199 what's the difference between 199 and 201 one of them's like bigger or smaller uh i don't see any difference between these two pieces 199 and 201, as far as I can tell, are interchangeable. Hopefully I got them right, but if not, I guess if I can get this piece through, then we got them right. So what needs to happen here? So this goes this way through there. Now look at that. Maybe I did get them wrong. Let's try this way. Get the notch in the middle. Yeah, it looks a little better. Let's try that. on the bumper front bumper ah yes the notch well, that makes perfect sense now all right why doesn't the top need a notch because it's offset a little bit i guess was i supposed to grease these poles i was and i didn't anyway they're fine they're on they did a job without the wax Though it's not too late, I could add the wax still, I guess, but I don't know. You know, I think if I added wax, these would be too slippery. I think we're better off without the wax. <laughs> Keep trying to get the last piece on and it keeps sliding out. All right, that's it, that's the bumper. And now we got to attach it to the front of the car, right? So here's a couple of pieces. So I guess when we flip this over, we're going to see spots to attach them. Oh, it's cool. It uh, attaches to two different pieces of wood, which is good. It's going to be going to help lock the whole thing together that way. Did we do this on the back? The back was easier. Back bumper was somehow easier. All right. This is the engine, by the way. There's two for the front bumper. One is going to this fairly new piece, but the second one's going to the engine. Like if you go to the first day of this video, like the first two days, all we did was build the engine. Anyway, we're now attaching the front bumper to the engine, which is obviously not something you would do in real life, but in the car, that's how it works, in this model car. I wonder if they make a model car of a Model T Ford. Gotta look into that. Uh, if they do, I'm gonna get it, because probably 
the wood's probably going to be pretty accurate to the metal. I mean, Model T, you know, is pretty should be pretty basic. You should be able to look at it and understand exactly what they were going for. Wow, I broke that hood completely. Anyway, we're good. The bumper's on. There's not even much pieces here. And all that's left on the left edge of the tires. Now, we're at 57 minutes, so normally we would stop here, but come on. We got to keep going. All right. Look at this. We're even we're grabbing these two pieces. So this sheet is going to be done in a minute. There were four pieces on it. Two of them we already did. Two of them we're about to do. 202. Yep. That's 202. I believe they're both 202. It's uh, two copies. And the ones at the top were both 181. Now one of these fell right out. The other one I can't get out. What do you know about that? So this laser etching is not like so laser perfect as you would think. All right. So these are the fenders. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm not really a car guy. Not sure I've got that exactly right, but they go here. Is that called the fender? I think it is, but I don't know. All right. So how do these detach? Um, we're doing this side first. Just trying to figure out which is the slanty side and which is the curvy. Like when it looks like they're attaching, no, you got to read this. No, it's like this. Now, which is the top and which is the bottom? Trickier than it looks. Like to just to figure out how to place this piece. It's okay. These four dots in the middle are going to go on those four. And these here are going to go one, two, three here. What I don't see is where this notch goes. But maybe I shouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, if I get the other stuff on, it'll find that, right? It has to. It'll find its home. All right. And these go in fairly easy without a fight. But flipping them over the top, that's going to be tricky. Yeah, that is. Uh, I'll tell you what, that doesn't even line up. Look at that. That's all by a mile. What did we do wrong? The thing is, it's not possible to do this wrong because the um, the slots are here. They're in this wood, and these pieces are in this wood. The only way this can be wrong is if this is if I have to flip this piece over like this, which is probably what I'm supposed to do. Uh, yeah, now they line up. Uh, there's still nowhere to put this, but probably not a huge deal. I'll tell you, this is a very delicate piece. And we've got to make four connections into pieces that aren't holding anything, meaning that they could be slanted a little bit, aren't held by anything. Anyway, we're just going to do them one at a time, get one on, and then figure out the next one. Wow. Um, this fender is so thin that you're worried that you're going to break it when you're putting it onto these pieces. This one is not lined up. Maybe I can get it with the pick. I got it. Same thing with the last one. You try one way, if that doesn't work, you try the other way. This pick is definitely a lifesaver in this situation. How else to get in there? Alright, now the back one feels good too. And now, so now we only got one that doesn't feel good. It's a second one here and it is far from feeling correct.
I just feel like, there we go. I just feel like it's the only one not on and it has to be a way to do it. And we gotta push that, tilt that a little bit. No, I just broke the wood. I forked it on and it broke the wood. But I think it's okay. This was such thin wood that it's not really a big deal. Um, where does this go? On the bottom? That would be cool. That is where it goes. That's cool. Oh man, that is cool. This is nice. Look at that fender. Oh my goodness. All right, by the way, this back piece is, but I don't want to break it. Um, if I can move this piece a little bit, I think forward, then I probably can get it, the back piece through. Let's try that again. Yep, we got it. Look at that fender. How cool is that? Oh man, it, it lines up perfectly with that slant. Remember that headlight slant thing? nice that is so nice all right let's do the other side now let's line these up first see if we got them straight see the back one wasn't straight hopefully that's gonna pay off and I think I think it made sense the way we did it do the outside first and then do that single piece last better than trying to do three pieces at once, right? Ooh, this one's hitting the mirror. How come we didn't have that problem on the other side? Uh, I pushed the mirror a little bit forward and the problem resolved itself. Well, I tried to get all four at once on the theory that I had lined them up and I think it's working. I think I'm getting them all. Wow. Maybe the next time I do a wooden puzzle, things will go better because I've learned from from this puzzle. Which is, I'm on my 10th day. <laughs> I better learn something after 10 days. I got it. No, I didn't get it. Um, but this pick will help me get it. There it is. Drive it home. Almost. Um, I can't get this side in. Why not? There it is. It's in. There we go. There's your fenders. They make this thing look good. All right. That was nice. All right. What else we got? What's next? Um, I was calling this the hood, but I think it's actually the back window and the roof. That's, um, I'm going to punch that out. That's going to be the back window. And then this is going to be the roof. Uh, so let's punch this out. And just, uh, yeah. Basically the cabin. If you can see that, how that's going to go. Oh, that's going to look awesome too. We're basically getting to the exterior pieces now and they look nice all right we didn't even check the number on this but i think it's an unmistakable piece all right now we need two 203s 204 205 208 where are my 203s 213 213 204 i'm getting um are they on here they're not where the hell are my 203s? I assure you, no, they're 204s that I need. Okay, good. They're long, skinny pieces. So again, I must be very careful in pushing them out or they will break. They look like hockey sticks, actually. Don't they? A little bit. Candy canes, hockey sticks. We'll call them hockey sticks. You know what would be cool? 
If I start learning Sinatra songs, I don't know why this just popped into my head, but I could sing like Sinatra while building. Because if I memorize the songs, I won't have to think. Uh, I don't know. Well, he does have a lot of songs. But, I mean, at some point they'll start to recycle. Uh, that was like a crazy idea. It just popped into my head. Don't expect that to happen anytime soon. Uh, and I'm tempted to say if it at all happens. All right, so these 204s are going to give some structure to the cabin. Um, and in fact, we're going to do it before we even attach the roof to the car. We're going to build it at first. We're going to attach it second. So there's the 204s. The 203 is the roof. And uh, the plan is we're going to close it down right now. And it's going to start looking like a roof. I want to get them both started and then try to snap them at the same time. Is that through? You don't want to break the piece. Got to be in there. Oh, that one's definitely out. All right, I'm doing them one at a time. That that two at a time idea was a was a fail. All right, okay, there we go. That's the roof for the cabin. That's pretty good, right? All right. Next, two o five and two o six. That's the windshield, right? It looks like it. There's two o five. Don't want to break this piece. Got some little skinny connectors here. Definitely got to be careful with this piece. All right, there's 205. 206 goes right down the middle. Two oh nine. Is it possible they want two oh nine? No, two oh six. All right, there's two oh six. Another long skinny piece. God bless you. Uh, I might have broke the shouting rule. I should say, God bless you, lower. My son just sneezed. Um, all right. Here we go. Getting the angle right. All right, prongs out. Hook. Drop. There we go. All right. How does this... Yeah, that's the curve of the windshield. That's why that's curved. Of course, there, I don't, there's not actually going to be a windshield, but it's curved. By the way, I almost put it at the wrong end. <laughs> uh, here we go. That's the right end. I almost put the windshield at the back, which would have been pretty stupid. All right, sides, two 207s. I remember seeing 207. Two, I see a lot of 213s right now. Where did I see that 207? 209, 217, 167. What's that, just a spare part? Hmm. wonder if the 207 is on the last page. It is. That's tricky sometimes. They jump. I mean, I understand that you're trying to make them fit. They can't be perfect, but uh, sometimes you're like looking at one page and they jump ahead, especially when you get towards the end of the page. Uh, they try to avoid it, but sometimes it's just unavoidable. It's a weird piece. And it's really hanging on right here. Let me try from the other side. Nope. The other side is how you break them. Pop them out from the front. 
Don't listen to direct directions saying otherwise. You pop them out from the back and you break pieces. We, well, yesterday we were popping them out from the back and we broke three pieces. Today we're popping them out from the front and no pieces broken so far. So that's cool. All right. How do we get this on? That's going to hold the windshield. That looks uh, fairly doable. Pieces at the top. Basically, it only clicks on in the front. Everywhere else, it slides in. So let's get our click from the front, and then let's slide the rest on. All right. Not as easy as I thought it'd be. All right, let's do the back first. And then the top will have no choice but to fit if you've got the front and back on. No. Can't find the angle for really anything that I'm trying to do. I mean, it's just like far from fitting. But at the same time, it has to fit. Oh, and the last one's going to be even tougher because there's going to be no flexibility left. Um, all right, we got one side on. And I predict getting the second side on will be not easy. I did it correctly, right? Yeah, that looks good. I guess it's kind of a curved windshield gotta do this front piece first I don't see any other way all right it's actually easier I thought it was gonna be tougher but it's actually looks pretty easy yeah I don't know why the second side was easier than the first but it's done already all right there we go there's the cabin uh, and that's it. There's the green check mark. 15 pages to go. And I'm pretty sure the last three pages are just glamour shots. By the way, there's nothing to do on the next page. It says lay down 208 and then attach the cabin to it. It doesn't say that in words. It kind of got some pictures. But anyway, 208. Where does that go? It attaches where? I can't read I can't read this. Alright, okay. There's two sets of holes. That's that's them. That's where it goes. That's where this goes. Provide some structure once it's on. Hmm. These delicate windows with that rubber band cob job. <laughs> I'm like, it's not the area where I can put much force. Well, you know what? I think they just fell right on. Uh, I'm only wondering, are they too high? And they gotta, are they gonna prevent the cabin from sitting correctly? Um, let me just see if I can get them to go down any further. It seems like they should be able to. Yeah, there we go, there we go. All right, let's attach the cabin. Very exciting. Uh, all right, this is the direction. There's three attachments back here, but that's not for attaching this. Oh, two of them might be. And then on front, these are, I guess, going to slide into probably these. 
All right, let's see. Let's do that first. No, that that's not even correct. The back. The back is the only thing we have. Oh, I'm going to slide right on top of the other pieces. That's nice. There we go. It's on. Uh, the back isn't on. I can see it through here. I can get it. Yeah, I can line it up back here and then... If I can get a finger in there, I can uh, make this happen. I cannot. I can't get the angle. Maybe. Oh, okay. Got one of them. The other one, slide this down. Nice. We got the cabin. Yes. It looks so good. Nice. All right, we're missing some side panels back here, I think. We're definitely missing some tires, but maybe we're not missing any panels. If you think about those old school trucks. Well, we're definitely missing tires. All right, check. We got the check mark. What goes next? 155, what's that, a gas cap? 155. There's 155. There it is. It's only on one side, so it's got to be the gas cap, right? Um... I don't see the receiver. Did I skip something? Did I in the install? No, I didn't. It's way up here. Hmm. Yeah. Um I don't know what's the problem here, but there's no attachment piece. Uh, I don't know what I skipped, but there's nothing to attach this to. It's weird because, oh no, there it is. It's right there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. It's right here. It's actually very simple. I'm just looking on the wrong side for some reason. <laughs> Very rookie mistake. All right. Got our click. On to the next piece. All right. 209. Well, it's just a support piece. Um, doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Yeah, it's going to connect the the cabin to the flatbed so that's cool sorry if I'm saying any of these terms wrong I'm not a super expert on car pieces a little slant in this I'm just trying to figure out which way the slant goes I think it goes like this you probably could put it in either way, but uh, I'm just trying to get it right if I can. And it's just a support piece, so again, it's not going to matter. I mean, it it is, it's nice. You want as much support as you can, make the thing stable. But as you look at it right now, I don't think this piece is going to do much. It's going to help hold the, the cabin on, the roof on. That's, a, that's probably the most important function of this.
Can't get any bracing support. Let's try to use this pick in here. Got the top piece in, but the bottom piece, it's a very wide piece and the upholstery is on the other side of it. So the piece basically bends when I try to push it in. There's not much I can do about it. You see that? That whole piece of wood bends when I try to push this in. All right, I'll wax it and that'll make it more likely to fit in, but at some point, there's nothing I can do if this piece doesn't go in. Let's just focus on getting the top piece in. At least the top piece we can brace using that pick. Bottom piece, good luck. We got it. Bottom piece is in. The wax helped. All right. Let's remember the two 13s. So 211, 212, 211, 212, I think I took too many. 211, 212, which one goes on top? I think it goes this way. I'm not sure it even matters. And a bunch of 213s. Get the second set ready. Obviously, something going in the flatbed with that. Four two thirteens. Two, three, four. All right. Where do the notches go? Oh, we skipped something. Uh, I, we can just do it next. It's not a big deal. Because the, what I'm doing now, I'm not attaching anywhere. So it's not a big deal. But we'll get to that other thing in a second that we skipped. There's some space in this, which makes it seem like it's not correct. But I think it is correct. But you see, this piece is wider. Like... Why would they do that? Um, just wondering if I've got something wrong here. I mean, it looks right. I just don't know why they would do that. Oh, am I supposed to be putting two of them through? That's why. I'm supposed to fit two of them in there. That's why it's like double wide. Because you're supposed to put two of them in. <laughs> That's the answer. It's double wide so you can fit two. You know? Ask a simple question, get a like simple answer. You know? Why does it look like it has enough room to fit two of them? Because you're supposed to put two in. <laughs> I mean, come on. What's there even to discuss? go. Made a little crinkle sound as it went in. I wonder what I screwed up. Boom. Booyah. All right. Let's backtrack and get that piece we missed. 210. Where the hell is 210? There it is. There's two 210s, by the way. Uh, I guess one goes on each side. But they're only having us do one right now. And it says, don't forget to put the uh, wax on them. All right. Go on the V. 
rear tire. The long end goes towards the back. Uh, what does this connect to? That's the top. It's way up top here. All right, at least the tailgate will stop falling in. Oh, that's cool. I like that piece. Cool piece. Well, yeah, definitely stops the tailgate. All right. That's all they're going to tell us. Got to turn the next page. I mean, I'm sure we need to build the second set of that. And I'm sure we need to install the second 206, but for now, it's go on to the next page. And then the next page is clicking this in facing out. I, I actually could have predicted that because I can see the connection. You see there's a little notch there and then there's a little slit there. So that makes perfect sense, right? Boom, it's in. All right, let's grab the other one and do the other side. I can see those tires. We're working with the sheet with the tires. And the tires are the last thing. I'm getting like a burst of adrenaline. We're already at 90 minutes. This is going to be a super long episode, but we got to finish this tonight. Can't go. We can't go past day 10. That's crazy. Huh. Did I not wax these ones up enough? No, well, eventually we got it in. All right, give me more 213s. There we go. I'll take four more 213s, please. One, two, three, four. Let's get it. Two in, if you recall. Here we go. We are walking. Hunting. That's when I'm walking. There we go. I better be careful. I don't want to sing and then get a copyright strike. Uh -huh. <laughs> How accurately would you have to sing to get a copyright strike? I was basically just humming. Not even sure what I was humming, but <laughs> if it if I could hum it, it must exist. Um, here we go. On. Yep. tailgate fine if you say so oh we're gonna attach something to the tailgate <clears throat> 214 do I need two of them it shows like two of them but well if there's two of them I'll install them both uh, I don't see any of them this sheet is done that's done 214s over here. Nope. 217. So, where are my 214s? 220, 50, 50. 214, here they are. Two 214s. We're on the last sheet. We're on the last sheet. It took us 10 days, but we're, we finally did it. Oh, 
we're supposed to do with these. We're going to lock the tailgate or have the potential to lock the tailgate. I don't want to assume that. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yep. So this can like lift up to let the tailgate down and then it could drop in to lock the tailgate. I believe, right? Let's see. Alright, drop them in, lift them up, lower the tailgate, locked. The tailgate is locked on. We are like really moving now. Another check image without a official checkpoint green check, but let's just go through here and see if anything's missing. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's just, let's put some tires on this. Uh, no, not yet. 215. We're gonna add a couple of 215s. There they are. Look pretty, pretty simple. Attaching to the where are these attaching to? Side wall first set of holes. So way up top here. Yeah, there's a lot of holes here. What are we what's gonna attach here? I guess we didn't do the the side walls yet. I was thinking, you know, a 1940s state bed would wouldn't even have back here but i guess this is like 1960 something i i mean really i'm not i don't recognize exactly this truck but the era is probably 1960 and yeah there should be more going on in the back than the 1940 steak bed uh, all right so we put those two 215s on got a couple check images 216 Attach to sixteen to two seventeen. Two seventeen is right here. That's another one of accordion type pieces. They're tough to get out, they're tough to work with, but they look very satisfying once they're installed. Alright. that out there you go all right 217 attaches to 216 we got two 216s yeah. oh yeah this is the external exterior of the wheel well kind of tricky actually we have to wrap it around. How does that work? Does it matter which side I put this on? Yeah, I'll put the uh, the front side facing out, right? That's the general rule for these puzzles, so we're going to follow that. All right, I think this is going to wrap around here. Probably should have did that first, would have made my life easier. And this one's going to wrap around here. Do I click them back? Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't get a click sound, but... Whoa! I just broke the piece. Well, that's a shame. It was going pretty good up until that point. What did I do wrong? Well no choice but to tape that on I mean it's part of the exterior we can't not have it I'm not sure what I did so wrong there anyway let's tape that back on
actually a pretty good piece, pretty easy piece to tape. Just tape both sides. Right, let's try it again. Oh, tried it again, broken again. All right. All right, looks like shit because we broke it. Well, it happens sometimes, sad to say. We were going so good before that break. Um, Broken piece is really rearing its head, causing a lot of problems. I feel like I was overconfident when I broke the piece, and now I'm just completely lacking confidence. Somehow saying that out loud made me complete that piece. It's like... All right, go on to the next piece. It's so disappointing, that break. I was like celebrating first time we were doing these like ruffled pieces and now it's like garbage. All right, let's at least try to recover and get this piece on without breaking it. If we can, 216. Do something wrong. I don't think you can do it wrong. It's just two pieces. It's like ambidextrous and just click them in there. The only thing I can do different is do the click pieces first before I do the rest. Um, Not even the right direction for the click. Hmm. Which is the one that broke last time? All right, we're gonna get both ends on first, and then we're gonna click both middles. I tell you, this short end really wants to break. <laughs> it really doesn't feel like it wants to uh, to do this.
All right, got it on without breaking it this time so far. I feel like it's, I mean, look at it. It's like, it's like coming out. I feel like it's, it wants to break. It doesn't want to do this. All right, well, whatever. Let's just get it on there. coming out as I'm trying to do this. The bottom part clicks in, but only if you can get it facing correctly, which I currently cannot do. Whoa, I'm like breaking pieces here, left and right, trying to get this on. We're going so well for a while. By the way, that looked dramatic, but it actually was just the same piece that broke on the other side. That piece is just not meant to be. I mean, I'm sure the designers got it to work, but I can't. Yeah, it's the exact same piece that broke on both sides. Despite how dramatic it looked, it was just the same piece from the other side. it like somehow inside out and that's why it doesn't work now the other side is on not like well but it's on well I'm gonna have to shoot <laughs> I have to find some angle to take a picture of this without it doesn't show off these broken pieces what am I breaking over there? Can't get this last thing in. the other side on. Not much else we can do. Yep, that's all we can do. Tape it from both sides, but not much we can do really. popped out while I was doing the tape on the other side it like made that like spring sound and popped out why is this piece so bad compared to the rest of it oh whatever I'm moving on gotta get this done I mean maybe offline I'll try to tighten it up a little bit but at least for tonight, that's as good as we're going to get that piece. Well, we're really close to doing the tires, so let's keep plowing ahead. Yep, tires happen in this page. All right.
There's the 220. That 50 looks like the 95. I think there's 95 on previous pages. I gotta go back to it. Alright. 219. Where is 219? Two oh nine. Do I gotta go back a sheet? Nope. Well, I should look for the ninety five on any of these sheets. Could have swore that there were a lot of ninety fives on these previous pieces. There's some 95s, but now that I'm looking for them, good luck. There's a 95. Very first sheet. <laughs> Had a 95. Still need the 219. I feel like it's got to be on here somewhere. 225, 215, 214. There it is, 290, 219. Looks like another mirror. So where would another mirror go? Is it the gas cap or what the I don't know what this is. It has reflective like a mirror. Well, it has line. Oh, it's a some sort of light, maybe? Looks like I gotta build two of these. Uh, it attaches back here. The back of the car. To this piece. So it's a light. This one goes on this side. I'm not sure if that matters, but maybe I just assembled it that way. I mean, it's the same pieces, but depending on the order you put them in. Basically, the first one didn't matter because I just had to put it on one side or another. So I need these pieces again. These pieces I couldn't find in the first place. I need to find another copy of them. 20. Oh, there's the 295s. They were there the whole time. And here's two more 219s. What was I struggling to do this? <laughs> the pieces were right here. Nice that they give you extras, I guess, in case you mess up. Alright, so I want to assemble this in such a way that we could connect it to the other side. Well, how is that way? Uh, like this. That's how we do it.
in. All right, I got the two lights back there. Didn't get it. There we go. Got the click. All right, now finally, we're starting to build these wheels. 221, 222. So what it says here. We're gonna start with the front wheel. No. Yeah, front wheel. I'm gonna grease up the uh, axle. Wax up the axle. And uh, two twenty-one followed by two twenty-two. There's a lot of little pieces with these wheels. What's the build going on in here? Uh, we're on the very last page, and the only thing on the last page is the tires. So I'm just going to finish it tonight. All right. Yep. That's the plan. All right. I might as well get two sets of these 221s and 222s. Two twenty one and two twenty two. Where did two twenty one go? Oh, there it is. All right. The axle greased up. Should be no problem. No problem. Yep, that's good. All right, time to build a wheel. All right, two twenty three, two twenty four. Really looks like a wheel with those pins. Two twenty four tire. Yeah, nice. Cool. Three two twenty fives. small but I think they're gonna be easy let's see why did I think these would be easy <laughs> all right I gotta get them in Uh, sure, it's gonna be easy, no problem. I mean, I just assumed that they're gonna fit, but they're not so far. All right. Well, that's kind of a problem. It doesn't go in deep enough, really. Not to catch the outer one, which I assume is pretty important. Hmm. Well, let's just keep piling them on and maybe it'll work itself out. 226. Yeah, I 
everything is going to work itself out. Well, here's one problem. What do I do with those pieces? There they are. I think I gotta grease the whole thing. Wax the whole thing. No greasing involved, waxing. side on 223 yeah they're both 223s I wonder why you have to build the inside of the tire no one's gonna see it but I guess it's kind of cool that they do it well let's get these all waxed and ready to go It, but I lost it. At least it's punching through the other end, finally, which is what I expected to happen, which is why I plowed forward. breaking. Instead of going on, it's breaking. Wow, I can't believe it. I thought the tires would be so easy. They're just refusing, they're breaking instead of going on. That's crazy. Well, that'll be the inside. I mean, what can I say? The thing didn't want to go on. All right, 223. Right, big thing going on. Amazing. the same situation on this side I guess and then it'll be totally unusable if it breaks on both sides Yep, broke it. <laughs> These pieces, I mean, they, they both broke. It broke in two places at once. It's like, it would rather break than go on these pins. 
It's like something wrong here. Wow. Okay, there's the first tire. I don't know which side is better. It's both garbage. All right. All right, we gotta build two of these. And then two of the bottom ones, obviously. Oh, the rubber band goes on, but only on the uh, back tire. But that's still cool. All right, two of these. So we need two more 223s. One, two, three. Hopefully we have better luck this time. And two more two twenty fours. No, a 224 and a 226. That's how it goes. Did I mess up the order? Is that why they broke? Let's be careful with the order this time. Oh, I'm gonna grease this completely all around. Sorry, not grease, wax. I'm gonna wax it all around. Every way, every way around, every angle is going to be waxed. Trying to be a little more careful this time. Probably still break it, but. All right, I see. Let's do the other side. It's the outsides that broke last time. These uh, inside ones were fine. Try to get them centered this time. Maybe that'll help. All right, that one's centered. That one's centered. All right, I got all three of them centered, which is not something we had last time. So maybe we'll have better luck attaching these. So far, no good luck. <laughs> Cannot get these outer pieces on. The circle makes it tough. 
normally I, you know, click one arm and then I start to work on the others, but the, with the circle, I feel like I gotta do them all at once. All right, it's lined up, but it's kicked out. On all three of them kicked out, so I can't even really say that it's lined up. I may just be kidding myself. I, I broke the pin. Wow, how do you break the pin? That's amazing. Now let's just put the other side on. It seems to be impossible to put on one at a time, so I'm gonna put on both. We're gonna squeeze, and if they break, they break. There you go, broken. Smashed to bits. I think I managed to do this side worse than the other side. Even though we started off so well. It's completely destroyed. completely smashed. Let's see if we can get this one piece on. <laughs> At least if we can get this one piece on, we could tape the rest. Come on. How can I not get one piece on? I mean, did I not like assemble this entire puzzle all the way until I got to the wheels? You can't tell me that I can't get one freaking wheel on. All right. Nope. Nope. Can't get one freaking wheel on. Try again. This side's not broken. That's encouraging. Huh. Time for the tape. Wow. Just unbelievable. I thought the tires would be the easiest part. Not at all the case. I guess circles are tough. That's going to look terrible in the pictures. But what can you do? I mean, I broke the pieces. There's nothing you can do. All right, let's do the back tires. Or are these the front? I don't know. Anyway, two 223s. Sounds familiar, right? Two two twenty sevens. And uh, those uh, two twenty fives which we've so far had no luck with. Like zero luck with these 225s. I think that ungreased, the unwaxed versions did better somehow. 
So I'm going to try that, go back to trying that. I'm also going to go back to assembling from one at a time, like left to right. I can't even get it in unwaxed. What if I just do one piece all the way through? Will that work? So far I can't even get in one pin into one piece of tire. It's got to go through four. Wow. Let's try this one. Am I putting them on the wrong way? Yeah. I was doing them the wrong way the whole time. Uh, so that's why they kept breaking, I guess. All right. All right, now it's easy. I should probably put the others in if it really is so easy. Wow. Basically, I was putting them in the wrong way. That's why, I was, that's why everything was breaking. may not be the only reason you know now I might still break some pieces but definitely this is the way to go believe this is actually going on so all I needed to do was spin those pieces around and everything suddenly works wonder why I didn't think of that yeah I mean maybe I'm still gonna break them but it seems like it's going much better No problem. You get the pin in the right direction and there's no problem. Yeah, it's on. Rear tire is on, no problem. Now let's do the last one. We're almost done here. I mean, there's still more pieces. I'm not really sure what they are, but I'm almost done with the tires and what are we on? Page 65. Um, I'm not sure what's on those last few pages. I guess something, but we're pretty much done here. All right. Let's wax the pins up and do them the correct direction. Wow, I'm already at two hours, but we're on, we're on the very end. I mean, I'm putting the tires on. We got to finish this. No matter how it looks, we're finishing it tonight. on wow so uh, so much it makes so much more sense when you have the pins going the right way Right, 
almost there. Got it. We're good. Rubber bands. Where are my rubber bands? To go to the Batman. Uh, there's only one here. Well, in fairness, they only show one in the directions. So, I don't know how you decide which one. Uh, that's not the right size. Alright, so it's these little rubber bands that they apparently want to stretch over these huge tires. Alright. I just say that because the big rubber band was too big. So, it's uh, going to have to be the small rubber band. Right, it's on now. And the back tire. I think they're the back tires. Until they attach them, I really don't know whether I'm dealing with the front or the back. Why did we only put brakes on the front? This, I guess front brake. All right, so J1, yeah, the one without the rubber band goes in front. Goes right here. And then we lock it on with uh, piece 228. There we go. Exciting. One of the tires is on. I should call my son back in here to look at it. I'll call him when it's done. There we go. Oh, this one with all the stupid tape on it is up next. are on. Back tires take 228 and 229. Why do they need two different pieces? And where are those pieces? Oh, 229. Okay. 229. I think it takes two 229s. Uh, I guess it's a typo here. I know that that sounds like I must surely be making a mistake here, but we already spent the 228s. So, oh, on the other side, I was supposed to do one 228 and one 229. You know what? I think it's still all four pieces of the same. I mean, they, they fit on, so, you know, it must be right, right? This truck is done. I mean, there's something on those last couple of pages, but basically this truck is done. All right, there it is. Took 10 days with a double sized day at the end, but it's done. All right, let's see what's on this last page here. No, they're just instructions on how to move it. Yeah, they're just like instructions on how to play with it. This is done. I don't know what those 75 and 50, I guess they were just extra pieces. This is done. It is all done. This is all scrap wood because we are done.
Let's take a victory lap. Clean up the sawdust. Toss it in the garbage. I'll be right back to sign out. I just want to see if I can get Nick to look at this thing. coming? Uh, I mean, if you're sleeping, then just sleep. I don't want to wake you up. Check it out. It took 10 days. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, it's supposed to work. It has gas and brake. They're in the flatbed, but the something went wrong with it, and basically the spring is locked up. The spring that's supposed to make it move is locked up. I mean, I broke the hood here, and I broke a panel here, but, I mean, it's, it's put together. Yeah. It's a pretty cool car. Thanks. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so we did it. Tomorrow we'll have a different puzzle. There it is. Yu-Gi-Oh!